Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. I'm glad you tuned in today. And today, I'd just like to real quick give you a simple little thought out of the Bible. And in Leviticus chapter number 10, we are given the strange and sad story of Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron. And just for a little context, previous to this chapter, the Lord has been given the children of Israel the commandments concerning how they are to offer sacrifices before him and how the priests are to do it and the priests, uh, their clothes and their calling and whatnot. He's been giving all that to them. And uh, God's just laid out every rule they need. He's laid out everything and how they're supposed to do it, how they're supposed to offer to him and sacrifice to him. He's laid all that out for them. But then in the beginning of this chapter, in Leviticus chapter number 10, we get the story, as I said, of Nadab and Abihu. And the sons of Aaron decided that they were going to do things a little bit different. They were going to take a censer. They were going to put incense there. And then they're going to offer what the Bible called strange fire before the Lord. And when they did so, the fire of the Lord came out. It devoured them. And Nadab and Abihu died right there in front of God. Now, we've got to ask yourself, what was the problem here? What did Nadab and Abihu do wrong? I mean, they tried to serve God in their own special way, didn't they? I mean, they were sincere in what they were doing but they were sincerely wrong in the way they did it. You see, the problem wasn't that they weren't trying to worship God. They weren't trying to serve him uh, because they were in their own way. But the problem was it was their way and not God's way. You see, the problem here wasn't the censor with incense. The problem wasn't the strange fire they offered. There should have never been a censor of incense. There never should have been some strange fire before God. And it never should have been their way. It should have been God's way. God's given us the Bible, the greatest instruction manual ever created. It tells us how we are to live our lives, what way we're supposed to do it, and what way we are to live our lives in whatever area it may be. All we have to do is obey it, but many times, just like Nadab and Abihu, we think we can do it better, and we're sincere, we're sincere. We're, I mean, we're trying to serve God, we're trying to honor God, but God's work, always always no no exceptions needs to be done god's way hey this is a simple thought but i hope you have a great day